In this video, I'll be showing you how to configure the new live messaging feature that we've just released. Live messaging is officially out of beta and available to all customers. We know that many of you have been waiting very patiently for this feature, and we're so excited it's finally here. This feature allows members to see a typing indicator in real time, showing when another member is writing a message and to receive the message in real time, without having to refresh the browser window. Members can also see who is currently online with the online status indicators now updating in real time. And all of these new features work in both web and app, which I will demo later in this video. As part of this project, we've also made many visual improvements to the messaging interface, including an improved editor experience and an improved archived messaging interface. Those updates were released earlier this month, and we have another video outlining them in detail. We'll post a link to that video below. To get the new live messaging feature, just update to the latest versions of BuddyBoss Platform, Platform Pro, and BuddyBoss Theme. And if you're an app customer, also make sure to update your BuddyBoss app plugin and then create a new app build. Okay, now let's jump into the WordPress admin to get started. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss Integrations Pusher. For these new live features to work, we are integrating with Pusher, and in particular, with the Pusher Channel service. Pusher Channels allows you to add real-time features to your apps, including live messaging. If we go to the Pricing tab, let's click on Channels. We chose Pusher to power our live messaging feature due to its popularity and for their flexible pricing that allows many sites to use the service for free. As you can see at this time, Pusher allows up to 200,000 messages per day on their free plan, which is quite generous. You would want to create your free Pusher account by clicking on Sign Up. I've already created my account, so I'll sign in now. Once logged in, click Channels, and then click Create App. Give your app a name. I'll call mine Buddy Boss App. and then you'll need to select a cluster. A cluster represents the physical location of the servers that handle requests from your channel's app. You can optionally create channel apps for multiple environments, such as a staging or development server. If you have purchased more than one BuddyBoss theme or app license, and you want to use live messaging on multiple websites or apps that are not related to each other, we recommend unchecking this, and instead you can create a unique channel app for each of your primary websites. For now, I'll just leave this as unchecked. And then for choosing your tech stack, you can ignore this option and I'll click create app. The app has been created and we still have one more step before this app is fully configured. Let's click on app settings, then click to enable client events and we'll scroll down and click on Enable Authorized Connections. And that's been saved. This step was very important. If you forget to enable these two options, live messaging will not work. And then we'll click on App Keys. And from here, we can copy this information back into our WordPress settings. I'll copy the app ID and paste it into our pusher settings as the pusher app ID. And then I'll copy the key and paste it as the pusher app ID. And then I'll copy the secret and paste it as the pusher secret key. And lastly, I'll take note of the cluster. Mine says US2, so I'll select the same cluster from our dropdown. And then let's click Save Settings. And now you can see the pusher status has changed to connected. And then let's check to enable live messaging. And let's click save settings one more time. And just like that, live messaging should be working on the front end. All right, so now that we've configured everything, let's go see how it looks on the web. And then we'll go play with it in the app after. The easiest way to test this is to open two different browsers each logged in with a different member 
as I've done here. I have one browser logged in as John and another logged in as Luna. I'll type a message to Luna. And if I go to Luna's browser, we can see this indicator showing that I'm typing a message. Let's click send. And if I go back to Luna, you can see that she received the message instantly without having to refresh the browser. And she can type a message back to me. And I received the message instantly as well. This also works when sending media. Let's try sending some photos to Luna. And you can see that she received the photos in real time. And now let's try sending some videos. Let's switch to Luna again, and you can see that she also received the videos in real time without having to reload the page. This experience is super engaging. Additionally, I can also see this online status indicator updating in real time. As members come online and sign off, this will update instantly. Next, let me show you how this feature works on the app. I have two phones here, each with BuddyBoss app installed. The phone on the left is logged in as John, and the phone on the right is logged in as Luna. Let's go into our messages on both phones. And over here we can see the list of message threads from John's inbox. And John can see the green indicator on the upper right corner of Luna's avatar showing that she is online. And just like on the web, this online indicator is updating in real time. And of course, on Luna's phone, she can see a green indicator showing that John is online. Back on John's account, I will open my thread with Luna, and I will write a message to her. As soon as I type the message, a typing indicator immediately appears on Luna's screen. And if I tap send, Luna instantly receives the message without refreshing the screen. And now on Luna's account, I will open John's message and reply to it. A typing indicator also appears on John's screen. Let's hit send. And John immediately receives the message as well. This live typing indicator also works on group messages. So if you're part of a group thread, you will immediately see who's typing a message. We're so excited to deliver this live messaging feature to all of you. We've worked really hard on this, and I wanna thank our developers for all of their awesome work, and also our amazing customers who have been so enthusiastic and patient with us waiting for this to come out. And especially for those who volunteered to beta test the feature over the previous months providing invaluable feedback to our team. We know how important this feature is to your communities, and we're so excited to finally get it into your hands.